Welcome to my channel RX Sam 2020. Today we discuss a drug named as hydrochlorothiazide. About hydrochlorothiazide belongs to a class of drugs known as diuretics water pills. It works by causing you to make more urine. This helps your body get rid of extra salt and water. This medication also reduces extra fluid in the body, edema, caused by conditions such as heart failure, liver disease, or kidney disease. Hydrochlorothiazide is less effective than chlorthalidone in the prevention of heart attack or stroke. Hydrochlorothiazide is taken by mouth and may be combined with other blood pressure medications as a single pill to increase effectiveness. Medical Uses Hypertension, Heart Failure, Edema Due to Heart Failure, Mild to Moderate Renal or Hepatic Failure, Renal Diabetes Insipidus, Idiopathic Hypercalcia. What is Diuretic, sometimes called water pills, is any substance that promotes diuresis, the increased production of urine. Most of these medicines help your kidneys release more sodium into your urine. The sodium helps remove water from your blood, decreasing the amount of fluid flowing through your veins and arteries. Diabetes insipidus D is a condition characterized by large amounts of dilute urine and increased thirst. The amount of urine produced can be nearly 20 liters per day. Reduction of fluid has little effect on the concentration of urine. Complications may include dehydration or seizures. Renal tubular acidosis RTA occurs when the kidneys do not remove acids from the blood into the urine as they should. The acid level in the blood then becomes too high, a condition called acidosis. Some acid in the blood is normal, but too much acid can disturb many bodily functions. Idiopathic hypercalcia IH, is the commonest metabolic abnormality in patients with calcium kidney stones. Mechanism of Action Hydrochlorothiazide belongs to the thiazide class of diuretics. It reduces blood volume by acting on the kidneys to reduce sodium reabsorption in the distal convoluted tubule. The major site of action in the nephrine appears on an electroneutral sodium chloride cotransporter by competing for the chloride site on the transporter. By impairing sodium transport in the distal convoluted tubule, hydrochlorothiazide induces natriuresis and concomitant water loss. Thiazides increase the reabsorption of calcium in this segment in a manner unrelated to sodium transport. Additionally, by other mechanisms, hydrochlorothiazide is believed to lower peripheral vascular resistance. Dosage, oral, hypertension, adult, initially 12.5 mg daily, usual dose 25 to 50 mg daily, either alone or combined with other antihypertensives up to 100 mg daily, if necessary. Edema associated with heart failure. Adult, usual dosage, 25 to 100 mg daily in the morning, may reduce to 25 to 50 mg daily or intermittently. Up to 200 mg daily may be used as initial doses in severe cases. Nephrogenic Diabetes Insipidus Adult, initial dose, up to 100 mg daily. Child, initially, 1 to 2 ng kg day in 1 to 2 divided doses. Less than, 6 month, up to 3 ng kg day. What foods should you avoid while taking hydrochlorothiazide? 
herbs that have a diuretic effect should be avoided when taking diuretic medications as they may increase the effect of these drugs and lead to possible cardiovascular side effects. These herbs include dandelion, uva urc, juniper, buchu, cleavers, horsetail, and gravel root. Drug Interactions Lithium In general, lithium shouldn't be taken with hydrochlorothiazide. That's because hydrochlorothiazide slows the clearance of lithium from your body. This increases your risk of high levels of lithium in your body, which can cause dangerous side effects. Contraindications Severe Hepatic and Renal Impairment Addison's Disease Pre-existing Hypercalcemia Anuria Sulfonamide Allergy Pregnancy Lactation Alcohol Special Precautions Existing Electrolyte Disturbance Hepatic Cirrhosis Severe Heart Failure Odema Elderly Renal Impairment Monitor for signs of fluid and electrolyte disturbance. Hepatic impairment, diabetes mellitus, gout. Hyperlipidemia. Hypercalcemia. Hyperuricemia, ECG, LVH and or ventricular ectopics, extracystoles. It may exacerbate or activate SLE in susceptible patients. Side Effects Hypokalemia or low blood levels of potassium is an occasional side effect. It can be usually prevented by potassium supplements or by combining hydrochlorothiazide with a potassium sparing diuretic. Other disturbances in the levels of serum electrolytes, including hypomagnesemia, low magnesium, hyponatremia, low sodium, and hypercalcemia, high calcium. Hyperuricemia, high levels of uric acid in the blood. All thiazide diuretics including hydrochlorothiazide can inhibit the excretion of uric acid by the kidneys, thereby increasing serum concentrations of uric acid. This may increase the incidence of gout in doses of greater than or equal to 25 mg per day and in more susceptible patients such as males gender of less than 60 years old. Hyperglycemia, high blood sugar. Hyperlipidemia, high cholesterol and triglycerides. Headache. Nausea vomiting. Photosensitivity. Weight gain. Pancreatitis, inflammation of the pancreas. Some brand names which are available in the market. Aquazide, BPzide, Hydrazide, Hydride. If you want information on a particular medicine, mention it in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share the video.